Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. It is me, Brugly, as always. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a very, very dangerous backrooms level called the Ultimate Fate, or level 790. This one is a crazy read, and I know you're gonna enjoy listening to this explanation just because of how insane it is. Without further ado, let's get into this explanation, shall we? Backrooms level 790 is classified as a class dead zone because of its environmental hazards, mainly. But there's also the chance for an anomalous and powerful entity to be here. We just don't know. The level itself is pretty deceiving because it looks nice and safe. It's a calm-looking British-style village made out of nice little houses and shops. But the level's looks are deceiving because underneath this pretty exterior, the level has a goal of unaliving you through a bunch of accidents or crazy scenarios that are literally just insane, and I'll explain those in a second. This entire village is always covered in snow and ice, and it gets covered again every day by a snowstorm that pops up and causes a blizzard. The houses themselves look like British brick architecture, but inside the houses, uh, they seem to have surprisingly modern appliances and floors and furniture. They also have central heating, electricity, and water. The constant temperature of the level is 28 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative two degrees Celsius, which is really cold, if you didn't know. The ground underneath the snow is covered in very, very slick ice, and this ice can cause people to slip and fall if they aren't careful. The main way you could fall would be if you were trying to travel from building to building. And speaking of buildings, there are a few specific ones that I want to talk about. There are churches, which are pretty uncommon. There are detached houses, which is one of the most common. Then there are semi-detached houses and terraced houses, which are the two main buildings that you'll see the most of. The rarer buildings are corner stores and tea shops, and these are sprinkled throughout the level, but they are extremely rare. The tea shops are by far the rarest and if you find it, you're very lucky because they are the best place to stay inside of and wait out the blizzards and other things to try to hurt you. The tea shops also have cool things inside of them like almond water and heat and even Wi-Fi. So, that's pretty cool. And as I just said, these tea shops are the chillest and best place to ride out the blizzards that hit all the time and the only problem is that they're the rarest. A weird quirk about all the buildings on this level is that if any part of them breaks off or cracks or something like that, like that, it will automatically fix itself two days later, but the inside and the outside will look completely different. There'll be different colors, be different layouts, different designs, and even the objects inside the buildings won't be the same either. So it could get pretty confusing if you're trying to travel through the level. Now, I bet you're asking yourself, how is this level a class dead zone when it sounds like a nice, pretty winter wonderland? Well, it's because the level tries to unalive you through seemingly accidental methods. And these accidental methods increase in opportunity each hour that you stay here. The longer you're here, the higher chance of something bad happening is. And speaking of accidents, let me explain what those are. The first method of causing accidents is through snowstorms. Now these are a daily thing, and if you go inside the blizzard or inside the snow, it just instantly unalives you right then and there, like you just drop down. The next method is by roof tiles or shingles. Older looking buildings will shoot off their roof tiles and try to hit you in the head when you get near them. Apparently, the tiles can hit you so hard that they literally unalive you from blunt force trauma. That is literally insane. The next method is through black ice, which is the type of ice that's on roads and sidewalks. And this is the stuff that'll cause you to slip and fall and maybe even hit your head if you're not careful. Now, a really strange method that this level uses is carbon monoxide poisoning. And this happens if you try to turn on ovens and appliances inside of some of the houses. Not all of the houses do this, but some of them do. And if an oven or something is turned on, it will release the monoxide really fast and you probably won't be able to make it out of the house in time. Man, that's dangerous. 
Now, the last four methods are pretty self-explanatory, and those are food poisoning, electrical fires, random branches falling down and hitting you, and huge openings from the ground forming for you to fall into. But as you can see, the level does not want you here. I mean, it's literally trying to get you in every way imaginable. I mean, literally like Looney Tunes type of goofiness. Each one of these methods is used by the level with the sole goal of getting rid of you. Or it could be that the level is controlled by a really powerful being who can manipulate things like the ground or ice or something either way the level is really dangerous even though it looks like a snow globe city there are no bases here and to enter the level you can come from the factory on level negative seven even though you shouldn't come here and to exit well sorry but there hasn't been one found yet since the level goes out of its way to get rid of everyone who comes here good luck That's it for the video. I do hope you sincerely enjoyed it. Thank you for watching to the end. Now this level, it got me pretty hyped for winter. I hope you all are ready for winter and Brugmas and Christmas and Thanksgiving time, all that stuff. That's my favorite time of the year, man. And I'm super happy that it's nearing that time of year. Thank you for watching and supporting me. We are on the road to 500K here at Brugley and we are only 78K away. 78K away. That is absurd. I, I cannot thank you enough. If you want to help me get to 500K so I can buy the backrooms outfit, do a photo shoot in it, make videos in it, drop a sub, it's free, and it really supports the channel and helps me out. Also, make sure to comment below what levels you want me to see go over, or stuff like that, what entities, that kind of thing. And while you're down there, go check out Toogly, because I am uploading four times a week on that channel. You guys are loving the videos over there. I'm doing reactions to found footages, gameplay stuff, tier lists, just goofy, silly, fun time over there. And you're really gonna enjoy it if you wanna get to know me better and that kind of stuff. We've officially surpassed one year of the Brugley channel and by the time this video is up I'll have made a video on Toogly celebrating that so I do want to thank you all so much for a year of Brugley many more years to come I hope you're ready for that thank you for everything you do for me thank you for supporting me and I will see you in the next video peace <laughs>